In Galatians chapter 2, we see Paul continuing his defense, explaining why he went to Jerusalem. There was a rumor going around that Paul was sent by the church in Jerusalem and that he was not preaching the gospel that they agreed on and that he wasn't really understanding the gospel. And Paul comes against this rumor and this lie vehemently. He stands up against it with everything that is in him. And we can see in chapter 1, he already started it, and he said that if anybody preaches any other gospel than what I have preached unto you, even if I myself come, call me accursed. Uh, he, he goes on and he says that he did go, this is the end of chapter 1 now, he did visit Peter, he did visit James in Jerusalem, and from there went and preached in Achaia and some places, uh, but never met with a church. And by that, what he's actually saying is that in the short time, the 15 days that he visited Peter, Peter didn't add anything to his gospel. Uh, neither was he under the influence of the other churches, which was basically planted or that flowed out of them. He, he was never, he had never anything to do with those churches. And by saying that, he tries to tell the people that what he believes is not influenced by what the people believed in Jerusalem. And then he goes on in chapter 2, and he explains why he went to Jerusalem a second time. Now, uh, Paul def definitely went and visited Jerusalem, and there's three times which is recorded uh, where, where significant things happened in Jerusalem when he wa was visiting there. And the people would have said, but Paul, you did go to Jerusalem, so what did you do there if you didn't go to learn gospel or get the true doctrine from them? Uh, and that's what he addresses in Galatians chapter 2. He addresses that very point. And he says that he went up to Jerusalem to basically go and sort out a dispute that there was in another place where they were preaching. You must remember if we go and read Acts 15, you'll see that it was agreed on that the Gentiles didn't have to be circumcised and Paul understood that that gospel which was for the Gentiles was the very same gospel that was for the Jews. And the only difference was that, the, uh, that Peter would go to the Jews and that he would go to the Gentiles, but that they would preach exactly the same gospel. And the gospel they would preach was the very gospel that Paul got from God himself. And the people in Jerusalem didn't add anything to it at all. Now, um, <clears throat> there was an agreement that uh, Paul would go and continue to preach as he was preached. Some people thought that that agreement was actually that he was now sent by the church in Jerusalem because they prayed for him, they blessed him. But he comes and he says in Galatians 1, I don't want you to think that I'm sent by the church in Jerusalem. I'm sent by God. I'm an apostle of God. So if these people start to preach things that I don't believe in, don't think it's because I don't understand the true gospel. That's not the case. I got my gospel. Paul even calls it his gospel. He got it from God himself. And Now he comes and he explains why he went to uh, with this dispute that there was in this uh, village or towns he preached in, where people would come and say that now the Gentiles has to be circumcised and follow the laws of Moses. Paul and Barnabas had a massive dispute with the people, and then they said, no, we are going back to Jerusalem, and now we're going to take it up with the big shots, and with the people that actually sent these people to preach this message. And that is what we see in the first part now of Galatians chapter 2. We are seeing how Paul is recalling on what happened there. He said that they went up, they, there was uh, no need to circumcise uh, Titus that was a Greek believer, and that there was none of these things that the Gentiles should be circumcised, none of that. And then from there, they, he went and he preached in Antioch. And what he basically said was, I came up to Jerusalem and then there was nobody there that was correcting me. We all agreed. There was a group of people that wanted the circumcision thing, but the big shots, they said no circumcision is needed. 
And from there he went to Antioch and preached. But as he preached there, something amazing happened. And this is the second part now of Galatians 2. Here Peter comes and he flows with what was said when Paul was there. And Paul brings this to the argument to actually say that he is not wrong. He, uh, um, he did not misunderstand them. And then after a while, some people came there that was sent from James. And then Peter started to play the hypocrite and he didn't want to have anything to do with the Jews. And he actually pulled Barnabas into the whole thing as well. And now Paul was standing alone and he was seeing that they are not walking according to the truth of the gospel. And now he writes to the people in Galatians and says, listen, I actually, the people you think that, uh, that I had to obey and was sent by, and the rumor that is that I'm sent by anybody but God, I want to tell you, I'm not sent by the church in Jerusalem or Peter because I withstood him to his face and told him that he is not doing the right thing. And then the end of chapter 2, we find Paul just giving a beautiful explanation of how we are not justified by our works. Um, so that is the summary of Galatians 2. So if I must take it all together, it is Paul basically simply saying, I was not sent by the church in Jerusalem, but when I went up there, they actually confirmed in my discussions with him that the Gentiles don't have to be circumcised. And in Paul's understanding, not even the Jews has to be circumcised and that they left in peace and they had an agreement and that they basically believed the same thing. But then Paul comes in the end and he says, it seems as if something has changed because when we see Peter coming and when we see the people of James coming, they come with something different than what we have agreed on and I withstood them to their faces. Well, that is the introduction for Galatians chapter 2.